Fun Stampers Journey Coach Janice Whiting here. I am coach number 33 and am an executive manager for the company, Fun Stampers Journey. In this video, I am going to show you how to create another one of the cards that is featured in our Bloom This Way mini catalog and it is so fun i love this mini it is good through the end of march so we got a good for a good few weeks left to uh take advantage of all the goodies inside um now yesterday not yesterday well it was yesterday technically for me but <laughs> my last video that i made i showed you how to create this card here and i'll go ahead and grab it and it is just so pretty. Now, if you missed that video, it's it's up on my it's it's up there. So just go check it out. Super cute. Excuse me. Um, I showed you how to to create that using the masking technique because um, if you'll notice, that's all one layer. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Now this one, the one I'm showing you today, is the one right next door to the one I was doing yesterday. It's this one right here. And gosh, it, it's kind of hard to tell. Kind of hard to see. With this weird lighting i'm so sorry it's like half shadow half not oh sorry there's actually a little bit of um, a bloom cluster here in vellum um but let me go ahead and show you what it looks like up close the real deal done isn't that beautiful so pretty so pretty so you can see the vellum piece there and the vellum up at the front now, I was trying to think, so there it is, side by side. It's kind of washed out in the um, in the catalog. So much prettier in person. Um, so I was trying to come up with a creative title for these videos that I'm making where I pick a card from the catalog and I show you how to make them. But I am just not that creative with words. Cre I'm creative with... Um, paper and stamps and anything crafty but with words I'm kind of limited <laughs> so all I came up with is how they make that <laughs> so how they make that is going to be the name of my series so anytime I come on and do a card on featured on one of these uh, catalogs it's going to be my how they make that series all right so which I mean <laughs> Not very creative, but it's telling you how they made the card because our um, Fun Stampers Journey has amazing, talented designers that create these cards and they're there for you to get inspired by and to want to go out and make some of these cards yourself. Some of these are just, they're just so beautiful. Honestly, they're all gorgeous and so, so pretty. So anyway, I thought it'd be fun to do that every now and then, uh, do a little how they make that series. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera and we are going to show you what's needed to create this card and how to do it. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Here's the card. So beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Now I wonder if from this view, you could see the original one a little bit better. I'm thinking maybe so. Yes. Not quite so many um, shadows. Anyway, um, you will notice right away that I changed the greeting again. I Missing you is fine. I just don't have that many opportunities that I would use a missing you card. Thinking of you, definitely. Missing you, I mean, I would every now and then, but just that one is a little bit more um, usable for me. So that's kind of why I chose thinking of you. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about what you need. So stamp-wise, we have our Stamp Hero, which is the same stamp set that I used on the um, earlier card, which is Spring Botanicals. It is so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at all those gorgeous blooms, the, the leaf clusters. I just love it. It is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous gorgeous. Um, and so we're using this big bloom here and it does have a die set and we actually do use the die in this, in this card. You can use, you can just fussy cut if you'd like, um, but it just makes it easier to have the die. So that's the hero. And then I used a sentiment from the bloom burst stamp set. Um, thinking of you right there. I just kind of love that script. Um, and the missing you was what was used in the catalog. I just swapped it out. All right, so that greeting, you could use whatever greeting you wanted, of course. And then we have a couple of dies that we use to um, create this. The first one is the heart die. 
And that one comes from our decorative hearts die set. And of course, this is the heart that we use. Then the second one that we use is the Bloom Cluster Die. This is one of my go-to favorites, Bloom Cluster Die. And that is what creates this just, I love, I just love the little details of these little bloom uh, clusters there. It's just fun, it adds a really great dimension and I did do it in vellum, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and bring out our pieces. Now for the sake of time, I did pre-cut everything. So let me see if I can set that off to the side. You're gonna start off with a regular A2 size card base in our whipped cream whites, tent folds. You could do regular folds, side folds, but I, you know me, I like my tent folds. And then from there, you're going to need a panel of our olive green, all right? And this panel is uh, four inches by five and a quarter. Then you'll have another one of our whipped cream panels and the dimensions here are three and three fourths by five. And this is the simplest layering job. I mean, you could pop it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and just layer it down with some of our uh, craft glue. You could use a tape runner if you want. Um, you guys know that I love my craft glue for these kinds of things because it helps me to, it just gives me a little bit of time to shift it and get it perfectly centered. So you can know, you can tell it's not perfectly centered. If I had uh, a tape runner, I wouldn't be able to shimmy it in place, which is what makes Perfect, huh? Makes my craft glue one of my favorite items. And now I'm just gonna burnish it on the back just so that it is evenly distributed, the adhesive that is, and voila, beautiful. And then from here, you could pop this panel up. I had enough, there's, pl there's plenty of dimension on my card already, so I am just going to lay it flat directly on top of the card base. Pretty simple. Pretty easy. Again, you could use a tape runner for that. Um, I just love the ability to be able to shift and shimmy as needed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over. Burnish that, make sure that the adhesive takes really well. Turn it over to make sure I've got it just right. And I think we do, pretty good. Pretty simple, right? Pretty simple. Um, from here, I already pre-cut the decorative hearts die, that large die, and I'll go ahead and bring it out so you could at least see it. I ran, so, and let me explain it to you, because this template says it has six dies. It's a die set, and they're all about the same. They have the inside decorative piece, okay, and then they have the outside um, shape that you would then that cuts out this uh, solid heart. So if you take it by itself, and I used um, Riverstone, this is our Riverstone Gray, and you just run it through your machine on a piece of Riverstone Gray, then it will die cut the solid heart. It looks like it got something on it. I hope that dries out. It'll cut, die cut the solid heart. Now if you take, and, and this is what I did here, just a piece of your white, and run it through your die cutting machine with these two together. Now what I do, and I'll go ahead and show you on my plates, is I grab my, my um, machine plates, I'll grab my paper, and we'll just pretend here, okay? I know this paper is probably a little bit too um, small, but if it was just pretend it's a real regular size paper, I'll make it nice and even. I'll kind of tape those down and then I run it through the machine. Okay. Because what that's doing is it's creating the hard shape along with the beautiful decorative inside piece. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if I had just run it through with the center piece only, I'm gonna grab it back out here, with this only, if I'd ran this through, then I would have had a white piece of paper with this design and no heart shape because this center die does not have an outside 
cutting edge. It only has the inside decorative, decorative edge. That's why these two go together. This is the decorative inside piece. This is the part that actually cuts out the heart shape and makes this gorgeous, gorgeous um, decorating element. All right. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere the white decorative piece to my river stone. And yes, I'm using my journey craft glue. It's easy. It's perfect. It's got a nice narrow tip to get into uh, some of these um, harder to reach areas. And I'm just kind of dabbing glue wherever I think it will um, kind of hold on and stick, especially, especially some in the middle as well. Um, and I'm going to just gently place this over my gray. And because you're using a liquid glue, it will give you, again, you're going to have that extra time to make sure you've placed it correctly. And it looks like I have. All right, now I'm going to turn it over. I'm just going to gently burnish it so that it kind of grips everything that it needs to grip. Now there is going to be some seepage, okay, of the glue. You might see some seepage, but that's okay because our glue dries absolutely crystal clear and you're not going to have to worry so much about anything, any of that showing, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we've got the heart, a piece ready to roll. Um, now let's do some of the stamping. Let's talk about some of the stamping you're going to need. Um, you are going to need two images of this big bloom and it's this one right here and if you'll notice it's this is that kind of it looks like the pix it's like pixelated it's really no I can't really describe it any other way um, because if you look up real close which I don't know if my camera will pick up on that it looks like it's blurry but again it's intentional that is the design of these flowers you're going to go ahead and stamp this image twice and lemon drop Okay, now just for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and done that. Now here's the difference. I stamped it twice. Okay, so here's one. Then I went ahead and used the die, that the coordinating die. And this one you kind of have to kind of turn it and just see exactly where it fits. And then, and then you can you can you, you know where it fits because you can see that there's a little bit of a white. Um, edge around it or border around it and it's kind of a perfect fit. Run it through your machine and then you've got that gorgeous bloom. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring my, my card, my original card back over here so you can see. The reason why I've stamped it twice is because if you'll notice there's one full bloom and then the inside petals I just fussy cut out. So I stamped it twice and then as you can see, I just went in there with my details pro shears that are amazing and I fussy cut out just the center petals and I really just went along the edge. There's a very distinct line that you can see um, and then just crack, uh, cut those out. Now from here, you're gonna take a pop dot, foam, square, whatever you want to call it, um, put it right in the center and I just used one. There's really no need to do more than one and then line up your, um, I'm going to zoom in just a bit, then line up, line up the shape. So I kind of see that about like there. Okay. So now you've added some dimension to this flower. It's, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Take that off. Um, it just adds, again, it just gives you a little, a little extra boom. Um, from here, if I want to keep going as far as decorating this flower, I'm going to use some of our little bling pieces, our crystal clear rhinestones. Now, the awesome thing about these is that there are three different sizes. There's a large, a medium, and a small, and we use each one. We're going to use one large. I'm going to set that kind of on the edge of the center. Then we're going to use one of the mediums, and it's going to go right across. Then we'll use two of the smaller ones and they will go here on the side. And you're basically creating a, just a really sweet crystal bling center. Isn't that fun? So cute. Love it. Love it. Okay, 
So your bloom is now ready. If you kind of tell, I like to make my, my cards kind of like in sections. You had your base ready, then you have your card, your heart ready, your flower is ready. And the only other thing that you need are the leaves and then this little bloom cluster that I'll show you in a minute. So the leaves, again, they are from our Spring Botanical set, and I chose this uh, stamped image right here. I stamped them in olive green, which matches the olive green cardstock, okay? And you stamp them twice. So I've gone ahead and I've stamped them, and as you can tell, I have used the coordinating die. No need to fussy cut, just put the die right over it, let it do its job, and now I've got two super sweet uh, leaf stems ready to be assembled here. So those, easy peasy, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take a piece of vellum, and we have our journey vellum, which I love, and you're going to die cut one of the bloom cluster die. And so I've already, again, I've already done that just for the sake of time. And this is the bloom cluster die. Now from here, because this is quite, um, it's quite a large piece and it's kind of nice actually because I actually trimmed it in a couple areas. The first area is right up here. Just kind of took that top part off, okay? So that would be one. And then I trimmed this part on the right off. And I just kind of went around this little, this little leaf here and then cut straight off here. Again, I just try to go in a natural, a natural place. You're not gonna really see much of that bottom. So then what you end up with is kind of like two pairs that you can then use to embellish your card with. So I'm gonna stick that off to the side. Got my pieces here. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to stamp the sentiment. Now, this is a piece of one and a quarter by about two and a half. And I used the Thinking of You stamp. Go ahead and zoom back out a little bit. There we go. And I'm just gonna grab my little sheet, put my magnet to hold it in place. Grab the Thinking of You sentiment. Just kind of lay it right in the center, make sure it's straight. Looks pretty good there. Go ahead and close the lid. And then I did use our black licorice for that sentiment. Get that stamp inked up. What? Which is perfectly fine, but I like my nice and bold. And one more time. Beautiful. Okay, and that's it for your sentiment. Your sentiment is ready to roll. And now I believe we have all the pieces that we can now use to um, kind of put the card together. All right, so let's bring my card base back over. And the first thing we're going to do now that we have all our pieces put together is we are going to grab, and I'm gonna zoom this back in again, we're gonna grab some of our foam squares. Where's that? And then we're gonna pop the heart up right in the center. So I'm gonna take a few of these. I'm gonna put one here, one here, and one here. I think that's pretty good. Our heart is pretty sturdy because it's two layers of cardstock, the silver, excuse me, the Riverstone and then the whipped cream. We're just gonna center this right in the middle of our card. Right there, okay. Then from here, you're gonna take your sentiment, get your craft glue, just put a little bit of glue on the back, just enough for it to kind of grab onto the heart. Now the original card had the sentiment straight. I had to tilt mine just a tad. Because I chose a different sentiment, it was slightly bigger than what was originally there. From here, and I just wanna make sure I did put it in the right place, just make sure that I have it perfect. And yes, I think it's just perfect. So it is adhered down. Now here you're going to do some layering, okay? You're going to grab the, the first little um, 
bloom cluster in vellum. Put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom part of the stem. Come on, there we go. A little bit there. I'm gonna lay it right about here. So it's gonna go over that a little tad bit. Just kind of adhere it down. So if I move this light a little bit over so it's not quite so, a little better, I guess. Um, and then the next one, we're gonna grab, the next one is actually the two pieces together. We're gonna to try to make them as one. Put a little bit of adhesive down where uh, the bottom of each stem is. Kind of try to get them, there we go, kind of together. Little bits. There we go. Okay, we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it towards the top here. So you're kind of making a little swatch. Is that what's called? Swatch? Swag? <laughs> I'm sure someone can let me know what that's called. Swag sounds right, <laughs> where it's going this way and going that way. You're kind of following the side of the heart, all right? The next thing, you're the same thing, but you're gonna do it with the uh, leaves that we did in our olive green. One of those is gonna come just, just about where the top of the heart is, still letting these guys peek through. And then the bottom one is going to go same, kind of same position, but towards the bottom. Just kind of touching and overlapping, um, going over the edge of the bottom and overlapping here in the center just a bit. Now, while the glue is still wet, you can double check to make sure that you like the positioning of those leaves. So I'm going to just kind of move my flower. Maybe I like it like this here and I'm thinking I like where I've placed my leaves. Um, maybe I'll move this one down just a little bit. I'll pull it again because the glue, the glue does dry fairly fast, but you do have a little bit of wiggle room, which is again another one of my favorite reasons um, why it's why it's one of my favorite products. Perfect. Okay, I love it. Love it, beautiful. Okay, so now that those are in place, you're gonna take some foam squares. Um, I think I did three originally. And put it right smack dab in the middle. Place it where you wanted it. You know what's kind of killing me here is this it feels a little off center for some reason. So I'm gonna just move these up a little bit. Lucky that I can do that. Excellent. Okay, that feels a little bit more center to me. <laughs> Either way, we're going to leave it like that. Okay, the other thing, we're going to take another one of those uh, little blingy blings, put them right here in the corner, just a little, a little extra added element. And then the last thing is this fun little bow that is placed underneath um, I thought that was kind of creative that they placed the bow underneath and just kind of had it coming out, which I kind of love. It kind of almost has the feeling that it was created and tied, uh, kind of ties the flower together. And we're using our silver twine, silver sparkle twine. I'm gonna, I'll put the name up on the screen because I forgot the name, but it's our silver, I think it's our twine. Just make a regular normal bow. The one thing that I did realize is that you want fairly big loops so that it spans the width of the flower petals. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if this is a good, yes, I think that's a good size. And then trim it, right? And then what I did was I used some of our, um, journey dots and our journey dots are our clear permanent adhesive dots just grab one little dot it's kind of the perfect size for this kind of see it there put it towards the i say towards just put it right in the center and the beautiful thing about this little leafy thing these the little petals to this flower is that you've only put one journey dot or uh, foam square in the center so you can literally lift these petals up adhere it down, then kind of fluff and um, maneuver these little bow loops as you want them. 
super cute. And there we go. We've got gorgeous, adorable, beautiful, thinking of you card. Isn't that pretty? I just kind of love it. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. I kind of love it. Ooh, that light. So pretty. So pretty, multi-dimensional, um, and fairly easy to make. So you're using the flower stamp, stamping two of those, cutting those separate layers, adding that beautiful background heart die, a um, little bit of twine to add some interest, and that beautiful vellum bloom cluster, which just is just so gorgeous. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Hopefully that will inspire you to go out and create your own. If you want any of the products that you saw in this video, then you can go to my website and go to, which is www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Janice Whiting. That's me. Um, and you can click on the shop button and you will shop like you would any online store, right? Go shopping cart, find spring botanicals. You can buy the stamp set by itself if you like to fussy cut, or you can buy the bundle, the stamp, and the die together um, for a little extra added, sav added savings. Um, as well as the decorative hearts die set, super, super cute, not just for Valentine's Day. Um, and then one of my ultimate all-time favorite dies, which is our Bloom cl Cluster die, which adds just that extra pop of interest to your cards. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this segment of how they do that. We'll talk to you later. Any questions, let me know. Just put a little comment below on the video. Send me an email. Give me a little shout out. Find me on Facebook, and uh, we'll see you around. All right. Bye-bye.